see anything. Okay, I have two goals tonight. The first one is to raise awareness of people on two wheels. And the second is to convince some of you to take a class. But first, let's puncture a stereotype, this one. Thank you, Peter Fonda, but this is not safe motorcycling. Dude and dudette here don't value their skin or their heads. Now, motorcyclists come in all shapes and sizes, like car drivers, with one exception. They're mostly guys, nine to one. But women, women make up the motorcycle class at a greater percentage than guys do. In 19, yeah, go girls. In 1998, when I decided to ride a bike, I took the class because I'm in Seam Challenged, and I wanted to drop somebody else's bike. But what I learned in class is that this class teaches you to be aware of all of the other things that are going on in traffic. It makes you a better defensive driver. So if we were in Japan or Vietnam, I wouldn't be standing here trying to convince you to be aware of people on two wheels because you would have probably ridden a scooter or a motorcycle before you ever got a car. Not so in the US. Those of us who commute, really small percentage of the population. When you take the class, you'll be aware of us as well as bicyclists when you're sharing the road with us. And the next time you go on your tropical vacation and you're tempted to buy a Tarenta scooter, you won't have to worry about skin grafts if you've taken the class first. We all know riding a motorcycle is more risky and we're more vulnerable than we are in a car. So why do we do it? I mean, why do people ride? There are some pragmatic reasons. Scooters, 70 miles to the gallon, take that SUV. Uh, I mean, that's even better than your Mini Cooper, right? Now, commuters in urban centers like two wheels because, hey, we have parking advantages. We have dedicated parking places. Some garages let us park for free. And sidewalk parking, you know, it's not legal, but some businesses that are friendly to two-wheelers, they let us do it. But then in Washington, we have a perfect reason to ride motorcycles. It's the ferry. First on, first off. And if you want to go to the San Juans on the weekend and summer, you want to be on a bike. Most people don't ride their bikes but about 2,000 miles a year. But people who ride them, who want to go places that they haven't been before, they couldn't go without, uh, couldn't go if they were in four wheels, they go on a motorcycle. We ride year round in the Northwest and we teach the motorcycle safety class year round. We provide the bikes and the helmets. You bring blue jeans, gloves, and over the ankle footwear. Now the class, it's not for everybody. We don't have time to teach balance. So you need to be able to ride a bicycle. I'm sorry, if you can't ride a bicycle, don't come to class. Well, you know, what can I say? Um, you might uh, enjoy it better if you already drive a stick shift. Now, you could, you could become an everyday commuter or you might decide that you want to be a person that goes on long distance trips. Like this picture from last year when Mike and I rode to the Twitter conference in Los Angeles. We do have ladies, all women classes, and we do have all scooter classes. I think women learn better in a mixed class, thank you very much, and if you want to ride a scooter, you can take, you can use a scooter in a regular class. Come take a class with us. It's a weekend, it's about $125, it is a lot of fun, and you will learn a lot of things about yourself. So in summary, if you take a motorcycle safety class, you will be a more defensive driver. All of us who already ride will be safer because you will be aware of us on the road. You can be safe on your tropical vacation when you rent that scooter. And, you know, can I say this? It's fun. But be careful. If the pragmatic reasons attracted you, we are the Borg. Assimilation happens. 
Go to trim slash wa MSF and find a class to dive. Thanks.